everybody, it's Candy from the Candy Shop. I'm here with a book review and I am so excited. Gone Girl by Gillian Finn. I don't, um, or Gillian Flynn, I should say. I assume it's Gillian and not Jillian because it's spelled with a G. Um, I had seen a few people, specifically Anna Marieks, go on about this book and I was like, eh, I'm not always crazy about, um, books that appeal to the general mass, but hello. This was a freight train ride, except I will say this to the last couple of pages. Now this is her uh, third book. It came out in 2012 by Random House. It's 415 pages of fiction and it's all about Nick and Amy Dunn. And the book starts on their fifth wedding anniversary. And I'm not giving anything away because in the very first page of the book, you will find that on the morning of the fifth wedding anniversary, Amy disappears. I have an obsession with um, missing persons. I have a really, I had a really close friend who has been missing now for 14 years. And um, I just have a really big obsession with people just kind of spring off the face of the earth. So right away I thought, oh, I'm gonna love the book. What is interesting is the book keeps it starts on that day and then it kind of moves forward and back. So it's like one day since the disappearance, two days since the disappearance, 15 days since the disappearance. But interspersed with that is five years ago, four years ago, three years ago. So you're learning about their relationship as a couple at the same time that you're like learning about her disappearance. Um, and I don't want to give too much of the plot away. Um, the only thing I will say is I, you know, I'm not someone who needs a book wrapped up with a bow on top on the end, but I, I would have liked a little bit uh, more of, I don't want to say closure because I think closure is such a silly word, but I feel that ultimately in fiction, whether I'm watching a movie or reading a book or what have you, um, the evil or the bad person needs to get their comeuppance. And I'm always somewhat frustrated when that doesn't happen. And I realize that in real life, the evil person doesn't always get their comeuppance. But I think for satisfaction, there's a certain amount of that that I like to have happen. But again, that only, that feeling over, only overcame me in the last couple of pages of the book. Uh, it was, it was just one of those books. I haven't read one like this in a while where you know, it was like, oh yeah, Denise, what are you doing? Okay, well you go do that because like, I'm just gonna stay here and read. Um, it was just a really, really great. I would say if you are flying or you know, any of those situations where you have a long period of time to kill and it's hard to stay concentrated on something, you will stay in this book. She has two other books out. I might actually think about looking into those to see if they, have had the same level of success as Gone Girl because I absolutely loved it. Double thumbs up from Mama Candy on Gone Girl. I really, really liked it and I think you would really like it too. Um, yeah, so that is my review of uh, Gillian Flynn, Gone Girl. Go out and pick it up or get it at your local library. Make sure you're following me on Goodreads under The Candy Show. You can find that link down below. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the book review and want to see more book reviews. I have a whole stack of books that I've read through that I have to get, get reviewing on and most of them really good reads, some great summer reads. So I've been really happy with my reading selection this summer. Hope you are too. Are you doing the book challenge on Goodreads? I got into that last year. I think last year I set my goal at 20 books and met it. So this year I set my goal at 35 books, I think. And I'm almost there. I'm seven or eight books ahead of schedule. So it's been kind of fun. I really like Goodreads in terms of being able to look at your goal, look at other people's goals. Um, other people can recommend books to you. You can recommend books to other people. The the application itself will recommend books to you based on what you've read in the past and what's like all like because you read this in true crime we recommend these because you read these cookbooks we recommend these because you read these contemporary books we recommend these so if you're someone who's not sure what you want to read next unlike me who has 
576 books waiting to be read. Um, if you're someone who's like, oh, what, what will I go and get next to read? Um, Goodreads is a really great place to kind of hang out for other book lovers like us. Um, all right, that's it. Gone Girl. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Happy reading.